Let's check out our geeky science for the day. We have geeky science music someplace? Yeah, maybe it's already playing, okay. Uh, so our geeky science today is from a piece by Anad O'Connor in the New York Times back in, in February, this was first published, but it was a study that was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. And it's, it's kind of serendipitous. It's kind of interesting how they got to this. It was, it, what they, the question that they were asking was, which is a better way for people to lose weight? A low fat diet or a low carb diet? And what they discovered was something that was completely not what they were expecting. What they found was that if, and, and, they, and they had all these different groups where they had some people who were genetically insulin resistant, more, you know, in other words, genetically tending toward diabetes, type 2 diabetes, um, other people who weren't, uh, people who had, you know, various medical conditions that might be affected by diet. They were looking at how will the diet affect them. And what they found was that, uh, to quote from the article, diet quality, not quantity, is what helps people lose weight and manage their weight most easily in the long run. What they did was they, they simply asked, they, they ultimately asked, because when they, when they did the low carb group, uh, they pulled out all these processed foods, you know, bagels, sugar, white bread, refined flour, sugary snacks, uh, beverages, all these things that have carbs in them, empty carbs. When they pulled that out, people were losing weight. But on the low fat diet, when they, when they pulled out the processed fats, people lost weight too. So the, you know, Dr. Gardner and his studies designed the study to compare how overweight and obese people would fare on low carbohydrate and low fat diets. But they also wanted to test the hypothesis su suggested by previous studies that some people are predisposed to do better on one diet than the other depending on their genetics and their ability to metabolize carbs. What they simply found, and just to, to, to boil this down fairly quickly, was that people who took processed foods out of their diet whether they were high fat or high carb processed foods didn't matter. People who took processed foods out of their diet and replaced them with, you know, real meat, real food, brown rice, barley, steel cut oats, lentils, lean meats, uh, low fat dairy products, quinoa, fresh fruits, legumes, uh, olive oil, salmon, avocados, hard cheeses, vegetables, nut butters, nuts and seeds, grass fed and pasture raised animals. What they found was that regardless of the kind of diet they followed, and regardless of how many calories they counted, that people who ate that diet, the people who ate a healthy diet, basically a non-processed food diet, on average were losing 14 pounds a year. They were just, the, the weight was just going away without any effort, regardless of, of how much they ate. This is pretty amazing stuff, and it's a real indictment of the fast food industry in the United States.